He's like, he yeah. talks like that. And then uh, it's time to sing. Then he's like, ah! You know? <laughs> <laughs> Mickey Mouse. Sounded like Elmo. Jackson. Men are cheaters. Are we surprised? <laughs> this is your daily catch-up. Not true. And welcome, Alison, who is with us today. Hey! Ooh, hey! Not A-L-I-S-O-N. Because John is... No, no, we, we are going to address why... Why John Paul's no no, it's no, no longer, longer with, with us. us? It's um yeah, today. <laughs> it's a beautiful mistake. It's an unfortunate situation. Anyway, let's move situation. on to the Try Guys on a related note. So, <laughs> if you don't know yet, Ned from the Try Guys has cheated on his wife allegedly. Boom. I mean, no this la, is, it's not allegedly really. Technically, there is no clear proof of him cheating because the photo that initially came out is a very blurry one. But he admitted. And. He admitted a co- oh yeah he did he did he did yeah, sorry he I said forgot. consensual unless, unless relationship not cheating lah no he had a consensual workplace relationship according to his uh screen uh, his notes. which is such a crazy like thing to respond to eh? because like you cheated but then you're just acknowledging the fact of you having a relationship with like your employee and completely ignore the part about like cheating except for like I need privacy with my like family or whatnot yeah so strange so in case you don't know who the try guys are they actually are four guys that started on BuzzFeed and then eventually they splinter off to start their own channel and since they have like grown into many many playlists they have even a TV show that they filmed recently apparently cooking yeah. show I, oh I love the format I just want to admit to like I mean nobody cares lah but I have never watched a single Try Guys like I didn't even so know so the, the Try Guys popularized the trying format so which inspired local versions like Singaporeans try. <laughs> which is why when I first heard Try Guys I immediately thought TSL Right. But okay, different, different. These are <laughs> Americans. Try girl then. Nice. Girl. Ah, oh, no. I <laughs> that girl, yeah. That's how my sister's email is Kiki Girl. Yeah. <laughs> At homie.com. Why are you gonna throw out the buzz like that? <laughs> Her name is Nikki. Uh, wait till we hear Alison's uh, email address too. Can <laughs> don't. There's nothing wrong with Atomic Kitten, okay? At homie.com. Oh, <laughs> no, the, but the fact that you managed yes. to get that though. Just Atomic Kitten. No, no because I was young and then I, I wanted something easy to remember. Then I just saw a CD say Atomic Kitten. Then I was like, okay, cute. Then no one else took it first. I might have said this before. Atomic Kitten's email then. But then that, now I think it sounds a bit sexual. Yeah, so <laughs> Ned is one of the guys and he is known to be the I love my wife guy, which is why people are extremely shocked that this happened. Lah, because in almost every video, yeah. there's literally a compilation of him right? in like pretty much every video saying my wife, my wife, my wife, my wife. Mm. See, it's usually guys like that. <laughs> yeah, yo, when I watch the comment section, right? Uh, to be honest, I, do, I didn't follow Try Guys much after they left. left uh, I didn't know they were still Buzzfeed. relevant or so. Yeah. So then when the comment section put Oh, he literally molded his entire personality around his wife. Then I'm like, oh, f- that's me. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I think you do it more genuinely. His one is like, well, every sure answer is my wife, my wife, my wife. I think he was genuine until he cheated also. But do you know how long they've been cheating for or not? Allegedly more than a year. Eh. Oh, God. Damn. Yeah, it's not a recent thing. So damn. while cheating, he's still yes. personalities. <gasps> oh, that's too much. That's too much. <laughs> that right. little. Like slowly, his, his personality like changed. How come he slowly stopped talking about his wife? Yeah. Yeah, so how this whole thing like kind of blew up was that there was a Reddit thread that came out, right? That was showing Instagram screenshots of someone telling Alex her title is production I manager. I love androgynous names. Yeah, I l- yeah. yeah. When girls oh, that's not her full name though. I think it's... Like Alexandra yeah. lah, yeah. but still. still. But so Alex Dude, oh, is recently engaged after dating her uh, fiancé fiance. for 10 years. <gasps> so then, yeah, Instagram screenshots emerged on Reddit right. of someone DMing Will who is her fiancé. We need a family tree again. Yeah, yeah, we need a family tree. Okay, so <laughs> Ned married to Ariel and then cheating with Alex whose fiancé is Will. Got okay, it. Yeah. Okay, not so bad actually. Yeah. Yeah. So then after that, screenshots came out right of someone DMing Will saying, hey, I'm not sure whether this is Alex but if it is, right, I think you need to know this and then like send like photos and videos of like I think her being very, very chummy with Ned lah. If I'm not wrong, they were kissing also in the in the Ooh. videos. Yeah, and then so people actually speculated that Will is the one that made this Reddit thread, mm. which has since been deleted. But fair enough. Yeah. So what a mm. anyway, <laughs> welcome back to from Bali. Hey, <laughs> as you can tell by the hat. Yeah. Anyway, with on that note, right? Um, y'all might notice that John Paul's no longer with us. <laughs> I mean. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately. Because he cheated on the... He has a fake COVID. I I think there was something else also. So like someone realised, right, that there were like the latest videos of Try Guys. Again, I don't know who they are, but I read about it. That um, any part with... Who's the guy again? Ned. 
Okay, that was too obvious. I don't know why I pretend. I don't know. Uh, so <laughs> why you pretend? Someone right was someone noticed online and then they said that like the latest videos of Try Guys, Ned's part kept getting edited out. Oh, yeah. Like whenever yeah, he yeah, was yeah. going to cut to him and suddenly he get edit, get edited out. But you know the editing is genius. Like there are some right where it's like three people in a three people sitting together and they edited him out from in the middle. Eh. Huh? Right. No. Or like you put like a split. No, it was very smart because it's like the wall is like like pattern like this, right? So they kind of just they cut him out, cut him out, then they match the pattern. Wow. Yeah, so if you right. they compare different videos, then they see the wall pattern behind is different. That's how they realized that he was edited out. Right. So they had to come up with quite a few like creative solutions, but also in their latest um the what happened video that the try guys put out without net, right? They said that like there are a lot of videos that they have to can because he is inside and there's simply no way to cut him out of those. Mm. So then and he said that like that costs us a lot of money lah, but it's a decision that we proudly stand by. Yeah. So there's like there's like two issues here, lah, right? One is the cheating, but there's also the part about like having a relationship with your employee as the boss. On the first topic, right? Uh, the first sub point that you mentioned, it would have been less intense of a backlash, right? If he hadn't been such a I love my wife guy. Maybe. Cause I feel like he lied to his audience for a good amount of time. Uh about being the wife guy. And then some more, the wife, right, is one of the talents on their right. show. Yeah, yeah. Oh god. Yeah, they have a oh, try yeah, yeah. wife. Yeah. Like John. <laughs> they have a try yeah, yeah. wife. It sounds yeah. exactly like me. So that's why it's you like- know, You know, my first response uh, to when you said that, right, was I wanted to um, say something that, you know how I always like to fight the under fight for the underdog? <laughs> <laughs> then I was like, oh, John, shut the hell up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that mission no. of you. Yeah. No, oh, but no. I think Ned is stupid. <laughs> oh. No, I think Ned, no, I think Ned is super stupid because like if you want to cheat, right? <laughs> you wouldn't number one go to a Harry Styles concert with it with the girl. So right. he was the stupidest part. He and had taken after photos with fans at the concert. So he knew yeah. that he w- was getting recognized at the concert already. And then he proceeds to kiss her and canoodle with her at the concert. I uh It's like worst the cheater ever. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> No tactic. <laughs> no tactic. Has the wife issued a statement? Yes. Same, very, very similar to his one. Then they like cross posted each other's one to IG story also. Right. Yeah. So the wife never said like, actually I know lah. It has since come out that like they, all of them actually knew since early September. So within the company, they had already like hired HR and lawyers to deal with it. Mm. All the legality issues already. And they, they meant to make a statement about it, but this blew up before they could. And then like they, they explained that why they didn't the moment they found out was because like there are a lot of people that are very real lives that they are friends with that are involved in this and they couldn't they wanted to give them some time to deal with it privately before it became this la. fair enough la, I think that was their reason it's just that people see SI and found out all those like certain things like the getting cut yeah. out and stuff yeah so then at first what which, which then goes to show that they had already taken action internally though and terminated him so then people actually praised their response quite a bit Okay. Yeah. The moment these allegations yeah, but came their, out, their video was really good. Yeah, the video. Was yeah. Good. Mm. But right, I'm actually wondering. So at first, I was like, "Wow, it's so good! I really feel for them." Right, anger, sadness, disappointment. Yeah, <laughs> then yeah. I followed the <laughs> whatever Twitter say that yeah. I agree. Right. Then after that, like someone, I one of the threads like, then got like the rare unpopular opinion comment that say like, <laughs> actually, I feel like they weren't very genuine about it because like they all clearly knew about it. Right. So now it's like. Are they acting on camera or yeah, is it like yeah. one month later, right? They will have processed still, yeah. this information yeah, already. Exactly. Right. So then now I'm a bit like <laughs> No, but I don't believe any apology video actually. Cause it's being filmed. I think once something is filmed, right? Even this. Then I feel like it will just be an exaggerated like version. A already, yeah. Right? You're playing up something. Yeah. So I was very impressed with the uh, I don't know whether it was like a teleprompter or what they did. Confirm have <laughs> the eyes <laughs> never waver. Yes, yeah. Well, I'm just hey, why I cannot analyze this <laughs> critically, <laughs> man. No, but I think going back to your question, right? Like, is the backlash so big because he branded himself as this? I think yes, because if you look at a lot of other scandals where like cheating happens, it usually is like blown out of proportion for like two days. Then after, that, okay, already. like if we take Adam Levine for example. Mm. Like, people made a joke out of the whole thing. Like, <laughs> oh, no one is- That's a joke though. That meme's so funny. great though. Like, no one's saying don't go for Maroon 5 concerts and all this. Like, I know people damn excited to go now, especially because of, of this whole thing. Wait, really? He's coming to Singapore. Wait, he's still going on tour with this. He's not working things out with his wife. If you're not writing new songs, then you'll go on tour. <laughs> yeah. That's the reality of shit. He has other bandmates that also need to make money. Adam Levine and Co. So like, like, I think clearly it didn't affect him that much because he doesn't brand himself as like the family guy. He actually brands himself yeah. as- 
boy that happened to have gotten no, married. No, but did, did Adam Levine cheat? He's been alleged to, so there was an influencer that basically said that he was ha- uh, she was having an affair with him. The only evidence was screenshots. And he was very clever, so his statement that came out, correct me if I'm wrong, was that uh, I my lapse of judgement was that I DM'd girls in a very flirtatious way, but nothing else happened, nothing physical. Right. There was no proof of the cheating. And also, a lot of people are were bashing this girl who's called Sumner. They are bashing her because they say like, so her excuse, right? She said, I'm coming. F- she came forward with this story. She said, because she had stupidly like sent some screenshots to her friends and then her friends had went to the press with it. Uh. And then so she said she wanted to kind of take control of the situation before like the press reported it and then she got dragged through the mud or so. Mm. So then she came out to say that like, it's his fault like, basically. And then people are saying that like, one is very sus. She's an Instagram model. She has a lot to gain from this, firstly. Mm -hmm. And then like, secondly, the screenshots are from very recent, even though she said that they've been like, flirting or like dating for a long for a period of time already yeah. and then thirdly someone <laughs> someone said she's a marketing major she knows what she's doing <laughs> <laughs> Boink, special announcement in the middle of this episode what no way. maybe you can like share and subscribe if you're enjoying this so far and let us know do you want John to be kicked out of the podcast cast <laughs> the what now <laughs> the podcast he cast cheated. if he cheats let us know back to the episode but the second point uh, that Dan brought up just now was the dating the employee. Mm. So do y'all think that that is a big issue? Okay, clearly there is some power dynamic there. At, at what age can you consent to a workplace relationship yeah. and not have it be, um, you know what I mean, a power dynamic situation? Yeah, there's so many layers to this because I know so many friends that met their spouse through working at the same place. <laughs> CC right? then. Net. You heard that, right? <laughs> yeah. Like, it's true working at work place and then happily ever after and then they work out law. So it's really, oh my God, you were her boss. <laughs> but I wasn't the owner of the company. I was just her immediate supervisor. Doesn't matter though. The power in dynamic in play though. No, so had you, like, so for example, had you cheated on Ned with another of your teammates, <laughs> would you, you think you get fired if you cheated on Ned with another of your employee? Employee. So I think I think if the three of you work in the same company and I think there is a clear person that in the wrong, right? And now the No, you think you get us fired? I don't think so. Are you crazy? No, no, no. So 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 let me go through the thought process, right? <laughs> I think like it's quite hard to like get through the characters, but like I think if there were a couple in a company and then there was someone else and then one of the partners cheated with someone else in the company and all three of them worked there, and now the victim is Obviously uncomfortable to work with every like with them, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. Sorry, who is the victim here? Net. Whoever it is. Uh, okay, so for example, if 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 I cheated if, on, yeah. on, on Net with someone else in the company, right? And then now Net is uncomfortable with working with both of us, obviously. And she's forced to leave. I think it's very unfair for her. La. So I think if the company obviously wants to keep her, the right thing to do would be to but find a way the to weakest transition. Thing. <gasps> yeah, la, to me it's just a, a massive <laughs> sense of injustice la, because like yeah, she clearly yeah, yeah. didn't do anything wrong. And then now these two get to stay in the company, still, the earn their, still earn their keep, but then they were the ones that go and do like something wrong behind her back. You know what I mean? The real victim is the company. I just want you to think about the actions. <laughs> 100%. <laughs> yeah. On that note though, so Alex is actually still listed as a employee on the Try Guys like website or what. Right. Net has been removed. Like, but I cannot imagine that like Ariel, a character that a lot of people like, right? It's a very beloved character. Mm. And then after this second, the mistress that has now come out and right. then she has to now go into work. Well, I will, I will just quit. Yeah. If I were the mistress, la, I will yeah. not dare to go into work. I, I pay pay. No, they have to quit. wait for her to quit. I don't think they can yeah. fire yeah, her. Yeah, yeah, they can't fire her. Okay. She has so to quiet fire. You all put on your work hat like the people that you all are, right? Oh no. What if I Ned was a head. girl and then she dated down a guy? No Would even. the backlash be the same? Yes, if she was a... I love my husband! Actually, I think person. the backlash will be worse. So actually, in the What Happened video, right, Eugene also like specifically made a statement saying that there's a reminder that like the internet tends to be a lot meaner to girls in this situation. Right. So they wanted to like remind her. So I think it w- the backlash might have been worse, actually. No, I think the because worse then they would to girls see. because she... In this case, the girl was the homewrecker, you see. Because she's a side... She's a side She character. has a home also. Uh. Yeah, la, yeah, la. no, but <laughs> that's true. No, but she's a side character in their channel, ma. She's a side character in their uh-huh, channel, uh-huh. and then Try Guys Net will have more okay, fans okay, than okay. her, right? So it's like he was the married guy with that perfect marriage. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And she tap in. Yeah. No, plus I think I think look, the, a lot of people made the assumption that he because he's the boss made the moves and then she as the employee had no choice, maybe like whether subconsciously or consciously will have to accept or whatever, right? But no one takes into account that maybe she made the moves. Maybe yeah. it 
it benefits her to have a relationship with the boss, ma. Yeah. Mm. So like, that's why I think like the internal review which they cannot share, right, might have shown might have might have been investigating whether or not she had gained anything from this. Like had there been any promotions right. that mm. were like he asked them to give during this period of time or like yeah. were there any benefits that she actually reaped from it? Mm. Yeah. Then I think after that then they decided to let Ned go. Right. Mm, yeah. So I mean I that's this is alleged. So, so I don't telling know. Telling enough like, like, but I feel um, like yeah. Right. Because she's still there, ma. Yeah. It could also be, maybe it's not an admission of guilt, but then if they look at okay, moving forward, who is likely to start over again and maybe needs the time off, maybe it's Ned also. Knock knock! Who's, who's there? there? Clue! 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 Clue, who? Clue Travel Fest! Clue Travel Fest is here? Clue Travel Fest is happening from 29th to 30th October at Suntec City Mall. West Atrium. What's this? Very good, man. They got one for one deals, they got flash deals, they got travel talks, they got giveaways, and they even have exclusive event only promo codes there. Okay, uh, we go together. <coughs> uh, Ellie, we go together. I'm going with my boyfriend, sorry. Never mind. Then, do we, we go? Wow, John Paul, I mean, I, I love you, but like, I really got to check my schedule. I need to check with my girlfriend. I need to check my family. I think I'm going to be coming over. Uh, I need to check money, finances. Um, wow, there's really a lot of but don't worry, my friend. Even if you cannot make it, you can shop on Clooks through Shopback to get cashback on top of on-site deals. But if you can make it, you'll get extra cashback on top of travel event deals when you shop on Clooks through Shopback. Okay, then, Denise, we must go together. Lah. Okay, oh, but then, you cannot hold hands. Damn it! Sorry, back to John's question also, right? I think Ariel would still have gotten the a larger amount of hate than Ned because then they would say that oh my god Ned loves you so much Ned talk about you in every single video and then you could how could you do this to him plus he would right. have more fans yeah like on his side yeah. I guess no wouldn't so in my situation it would be flipped lah so Ariel like she's the boss mm. yeah. tried girls ah tried oh, okay okay, okay. Yeah. got you got you got you yeah. okay so do you all think right if any one of us like this happened to any one of us right we, <laughs> you would like re- we would be removed from the TDK panel <laughs> If John cheat, I'll be f***ing surprised. I'll and be sad. Because he, like, everything is about his wife, sad. right? My I wife, am, my wife. I, 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 I have revolved my personality around my wife. I'll be f***ing shocked, eh. I don't know how to react. If I saw it on, like, Mothership or something. Yeah. I'll be like, f***. Assuming that Mothership will care. You'll make Mothership. <laughs> I think it will. The guy stuck his toilet two hours in my mothership. <laughs> oh, I look really guilty now for no reason. No, 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 no. <laughs> I, just, no. I just try to ask myself, how do you not look guilty <laughs> about? Yeah, so poll down below. If John cheats, right? Mm. Yeah. Would y'all want us to remove him from the TDK cast? Ooh. No, I feel like... Even though he's the boss. If, if let's say... Okay, okay, because if I run the company, right? I surely will want. Like, I surely really? will quit the cast. Because uh-huh. I also don't uh, want... Okay, okay. To do videos and like every comment that I have to read, right? Like expose yourself any further. Yeah, like. yeah. I just mm. like, want to hide. Mm. But to be removed from company, that was the part that I was thinking, wow, what, did, did the Try Guys go a bit too far to protect their PR image? Right. To remove a, a, a fellow founder. Yeah. Mm. yeah. But I think right, it was beyond that. So in the video, they actually also mentioned that this was a guy that they had been friends with, had memories with and built a company with, right? And I think they had a feeling of betrayal as well mm. because yeah. they are also close to Ariel. So I think it yeah. was it was above that. Yeah. But f- on some layers though, I don't know why I'm defending that. I'm not, okay? But on some layers though, this has nothing to do with them. Yeah. I mean, the, the boss part, I see that, I see that, right? So, but if they feel betrayed, meaning that, let's say if he, if he cheated on his wife with a non-employee, they will also feel betrayed, ma. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right? But the truth of the matter is, if he wants to cheat, right, it has nothing to do with you. Eh? Don't, you know what I mean? Yeah. But like, also as a company your... that is run, almost looked up to as a role model f- of sorts for people, right? And run based on like, these are the values that we support, right? Then what are they standing for if they So their values are fidelity? I would assume loyalty, one of it. <laughs> or like, just don't lie to us. Let's not be liar. Right. So if you been up front to say guys. I'm going to start yeah. a relationship. <laughs> yeah. I feel like that would be okay, like TBH. Like if a guy, right, cheated on a girl and uh, even the other way around. But then like when he once he start catching feelings or what, then he tell the other person like, hey, like let's end things because I want to go and date this girl. Then yeah. we would have totally been fine. Right? Even you- though there was an overlap of, of mm. emotions, like cheating. Oh, you go. That, so, so that hypothetical that John mentioned though, okay, so if, if this net fella, um, which is his uh, last name by the way one of their last names is like Fuller Fuller Fuller, Fuller. 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 <laughs> Fuller. sorry sorry please carry on if, if he cheated with someone that wasn't in the company would you guys be okay if Try Guys still kept him I don't even like Ned in the first place <laughs> 
No, but I think... Okay, why? No, I just think he's very creepy. Like, since the start, I always felt like he he was giving us like something fake. Like, mm. that means he's portraying something fake lah to me. Like, I don't believe his words at all since the start. But Ariel could also have lost interest in that. But then a marriage is just like that ma. Like, you lose interest and you find interest again, no? No man. Yeah, sure. Mm. Or oh, Ariel's just not caught yet. Oh, shit. Why am I just oh. defending them for oh, no Oh, maybe that's why they're still together because they both Damn. each have one. Yeah. And that's why she's so understanding about it. Do you know that they like, were- like, yo, there's no reason for both of us to die. <laughs> there's, uh, paparazzi actually <laughs> caught them uh, caught them walking down the street together after this like scandal came out. Then like the paparazzi guy asked them, like, are you working things out? Then they say, yeah, we're working things out. I'm not sure whether it was like a friend or like a, a ex-friend or like an ex-employee that say, wow, well, so convenient that this specific paparazzi knew exactly where they were at this specific time. Yeah. Or like, I mean, it could have been planted. La. They were like, okay, mm-hmm. we need to do this yeah. for the But image. it's still interesting that like the two of them are still like... Uh, Tight. Yeah, in a sense. Maybe just privately, they she might have been completely repentant. She just said, okay, fine. Let's work yeah. this out. Never happened again. Now let's figure out a plan and let's fix this. Because I... I, I I do believe it's possible for him to still continuously love his wife. Right. I, yeah. I think loving only one person in your life is unnatural. It's something we've conditioned ourselves to do. Yeah. I uh, think John Paul also believes really, this. Really, no, <laughs> yeah. no, it's true. It's true. Right. Yeah. I, yeah. I just feel like it's possible for him to just love both for two different things. Oh. Yeah. And then that's how you get successful marriage that is, for example, sexless. But also, I think the point that people are even more... Uh, agitated about is not so much that he cheated or sent flirty text, right? Is that he, <laughs> she alleges that he actually texted her and say, hey, I think like your name is really cute. I have like a kid on the way and I want to name my kid after you. <gasps> yeah. That's What's just though? creepy. Summer. Like summer, but That's pretty cool though. Ah, it sounds like a lisp. It sounds like a... <laughs> To me, right? Oh, when he got a head on her name. Again. <laughs> <laughs> to it's me, Bahati has... To, to you, Bahati oh has my god, Bahati Queen Slu was like my phone wallpaper for like five years in secondary school. Whoa. Wait, I but secondary school was only four years. <laughs> she was like, oh, I love her. Do, does it not... Love. Like, if saying that he has a kid on the way and wants to name the kid after you, it's not... That part's not flirty, eh? No, but... No, but it's what happened. The after. fact that like she's saying that we cheated... So it's like, for example, if pet cheat on someone, right? And you have that one to name your baby after this someone. Eh. Right. No, no, but I think it's more possible that she made it up, la, right? No, but there are other screenshots. She has yeah. screenshots of that. Yeah. And other screenshots. Right, right, like right. the one that has been uh, widely spread the brick cross, the meme world, the holy... What? The, it's holy uh, real. <laughs> your body is just <laughs> absurd or some shit like that. You are so yeah. effing hot, it's unreal. Yeah. Yeah. He blows my mind. He's like good looking, but I don't need game. Uh. <laughs> he yeah. don't need. It's he's so bad. The, he's the game. He's, I, like, I'm attracted to him. Like if <laughs> <laughs> he's so hot, he's unreal. But he has beady eyes. I'd be scared. Yeah, which gives Asian like, men like hope. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because yeah. most of us are born like that. Then right. you look like, oh my god, we'll never be like world class handsome. Then you look at Adam Levine, like, actually paving the way for cheekbones. Yeah. yeah. Actually, you just need tattoos. Yeah, uh, I think uh, the tattoos. Like, I think without tattoos, right, he's just a very skinny man. Yeah, he'll just look like a very quiet, quiet. Yeah, 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 no, and yeah. his voice. To be honest, when I first hear his voice, yeah, I didn't like it. Like he can sing, like, I mean, no doubt he sings his song very well, right? <laughs> but it's like he yeah. talks like that, and then uh, it's time to sing. Then he's like, ah, no. <laughs> <laughs> Mickey Mouse. He sounded like Elmo. Elmo. Yeah, Elmo. Yeah, I mean, yeah, right. Like, like singing his voice. Not, not no, it's basically when, you, when, high, when you're singing high. with oh. like your your nose pain. Adam, yeah. Oh my god! Oh. I thought the radio said yeah. <laughs> Adam. Adam. <laughs> Like, I might have said this before, but ever since, especially I got married, or like when my public relationship has gotten public, right? Mm. I also very, very liberal with compliments. Yeah. There's like very, a lot of instances where you go, oh my god, you're so pretty. Yeah. Is exactly that like that. A little bit. Oh, uh, shit. <laughs> Just thought it makes people's day, you know? No, do you think tone of voice matters? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah, I, I try and say it as casually as He possible. does it like a, like a gay best friend kind of way. <laughs> like, oh my god, yeah, you're so pretty. Like, uh, I thought it was, I was going more casual. <laughs> It's like <laughs> I got a gay best friend. <laughs> oh, that explains a lot. That explains a lot. Right? Yeah. So sometimes, <laughs> sometimes you know what to say, you just don't know how to say it. No. So I, I mean, I never told you this, but it, like, I can tell that the other person doesn't know how to respond to that. Yeah. yeah just but be like, I, which I get it because I feel like in in society, many yeah. people don't know how to accept a compliment. I don't yeah, care. Yeah, 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 yeah. But that's not gonna stop me from giving a compliment because I like as guys especially we really appreciate compliment. You you tell really? me, wait, this shirt nice. Wow, you will wear it 40,000 times, eh? you know what I mean? Like, until crispy. Eh? Yeah. Like, so if we don't like the shirt, then we just don't say that you'll never wear it ever. No, no, no. Now I... <laughs> now, now I have, More secure. Yeah, yeah, yeah secure, nine, nine, nine. <laughs> okay, okay. It took me a long time to get here. <laughs> like, yeah. when Pat tell me things not nice, right? I I, so, nev- 
I never wear it again. Uh. Now it's like, hi, you want to teach me how to dress? Hey, hey. Oh, okay. it makes her check. It makes her check herself. <laughs> Whether or not it's actually nice, right? It makes her check herself. Confidence is yeah. sexy. But yeah, I do feel like it's, it's okay. Like I mean, to be honest, I don't know. I never see the screenshot, right? But to me, he if I manage to reach this stage in my relationship, he he will have transcended lah. He dates a, a Victoria's Secret supermodel, right? And he Adam Levine. He will have transcended and compliments from Adam Levine would mean three million times more than what we can give. Uh, but if he's like, you're so pretty, it's unreal. And then I I want to name my child after you because you're, you're, you have a good, nice name, right? I feel like that now's our one flirty text. Yeah, yeah. The same way that you might say that, hey, this dress, them, like, oh, I want to say sexy, but sexy is a weird thing to say. But if you say, wow, this dress is very nice. Where do you buy from? I buy to my wife, right? That now's out. Yeah. Mm. You look really good today. Oh. You know what I mean? Because yeah. I brought my wife into the picture. Eh. For him, he brought his unborn child to the picture. Eh. So to me, it's- it could just oh. be that he recognizes his celebrity and realizes what a nice thing to do to compliment people. Yeah. And so he does it liberally. Yeah. You imagine you post an OTD and Rihanna just goes like, Dude, wow, I, I love your swag. Yeah. Wow. There, you got this outfit. You will never yeah. wear this t-shirt with another pants. You know Actually, what I mean? It's, it's married. <laughs> In fact, married that, that Rihanna post- likes this swag. In fact, that post will go viral that Rihanna commented on a random person made his day. Yeah. The problem was DM. Shouldn't have DM'd. Mm. But even if he took in comment section, the blog will still have been big. Mm. I believe. Him having no game really kind of blew up. So after that text, the, it blows my mind. He... Yeah. The girl like replies back and say, I mean, I think the same of you. La. Like seeing you in person, I was like, I'm... Like she was like, then after that, he replies saying, you are 50 times hotter in person and so am I, ha ha ha. So then people were like cringe when does he- that, Wait, does that now the other part? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So once again, I'm the, giving you a compliment. So am I now. Yeah. So am I. Now's out that compliment. Wow, that's how I've been seeing it. I've been living my life. It's so dangerous if I'm the only one that see it that way. E. Yeah. Why is he so weird? Yeah. It's so, but, uh, it's so, so unfair. It's yeah, unfair. Yeah, it's, it's, unfair. Unfair. it's unreal unfair. how unfair this world is. <laughs> <laughs> it's absurd. It blows my mind. No, but I feel like it's fire. not just if it's just uh I want to name my child after you, right? That's fine. But it's yeah. the fact that like they've had some form of like flirtation or like some form of So actually yeah. when this thing came out, then I asked my partner, right? Like, would you be okay if I wanted to name like our child after my ex? But then like I don't specifically say that this was yeah. my ex, I just say the name, but you know the name I you know that it's my ex, then will you be okay? Then I mean she should say no lah. No lah, la, it's weird. You expect a different answer. But it's really a nice name. Someone is a Christian name. Then what's the name? What's the name? We will be Pit. No lah, la. get ah. la. Princess of God, okay? <laughs> People are going to now decipher what. <laughs> we now don't need to beat the whole thing. <laughs> normal, normal, yeah. Would you all be okay, right? If you like, when you all have a child, then you your partner come to you and say, let's name our child this. But you know that this person is clearly the name of their ex. Oh, I'll be. F- Stuff, yeah. But how would you like say it? You know what I mean? No. no. <laughs> I'll be okay if it's a nice name. No, but you know what's Pat's ex name, right? so you're okay. Yeah, la, so if she suggested a name and I know if it's and if I think it's a nice name, I'll be okay. Uh, no, not my favorite. <laughs> no, but what's your reasoning? Uh, it reminds me of your ex, huh, which I'm uncomfortable with. But would I you, think fair enough, right? Would yeah. you? So for example, right, if let's say for work, uh, for work reasons now, so MOSG does a video where you meet your ex. Or you meet your partner's ex. Oh, shit. Have a chat. Hey, that's a great format. That's a great idea. Oh my god. I've been trying to cast people for this. Nobody <laughs> wants to do. No, but you meet your, your partner's ex instead of meeting your ex. Yeah. Oh. You meet your partner's ex and then you have a conversation. A no, but the partner still need to contact the ex to bring on the show, which is the difficult part where, where people say no to me. No, Whereas no. for me, for example, I can direct outreach. I know all of them. <laughs> But that's not fair. It must be the you don't know one. No, no, but I don't talk to them. I just know who they are. Like, we are Facebook friends. Well, I'll be so stressed if my partner become best friends with my ex. Yeah. Like, they, that like, was hit, what they hit me yeah. off. And, like, Tunnel I, yeah, her, her ex was one of my closest friends. <laughs> <laughs> no, but imagine the other way around where like, your, your current partner becomes best friends with your ex. Because there's just so much in common to talk about. <laughs> you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, huh? yeah. This is exactly what happened. After uh, you all got together. Uh, there shows some form of consistency here, you see. Yeah, after we got oh, together. Oh, it's your poly right. orientation story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right, 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 like right, the right, one, right. like the intake was 178 people there. And she told you not to be friends with this one guy. One person. And like, and they were, he was not my first friend. But... He became your closest yeah, friend. Yeah, but then after you mingle a few people, then there's a few that stick. Then at least we know, okay, Pat's consistent. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what vibe she's going for? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's a good point. No, but perhaps what's different between yours and my relationship is that as adults adults like the moment we hit 20s she has no 
other ex- like it's me already. It has been me on two years. So I know the rest are childhood flings or like teenage years. Flings. So not real love. Maybe I would like to think so. This is why you need to come up with the suggestions first and come up with really good names. Yeah, they just put it in a list. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like Nate and I have a list, and like we more or less agree. The boy, girl, boy, girl. Ah. Oh. And we are in. You know, before I came to Singapore, right? I've never heard of anyone named Caleb. And then when I came to Singapore, my school four Caleb. Yeah, no, Singapore had a face. Singapore right. had a face. It was uh, it was a movie. Ah. Uh. Um, I think it was like Jumper that kind of movie. Like, one, or like Vampire Diary, that kind of movie. Right, like where right, there's right, like right, four right. dudes, like what, what the most handsome one is kid. <laughs> right, right, right. Okay, so thank you for watching this episode. We have many questions. Let us know your comments down below. Like, share and subscribe and turn on your notification ding-dongs. <laughs> <laughs> See you in the next episode. Bye-bye. <laughs> hey, did you just hear my stomach? <laughs> you think this mic? The pick up that. I don't know. Uh. <laughs>